What else we're going to be talking on the show next week? Challenge. Ha- Halloween is coming up. We're bringing challenges back to Woo! the program. Uh, it's been a while. We're going to have a great, good, old-fashioned pumpkin carving contest, Tom. I feel like we make it sound so romanticized and genuine, but you know we're probably both drawing something penis-related, or our carvings are going to be very inappropriate. But yeah. I can't wait. Well, I was going to say, how are we going to, first of all, to equate, to, to, to outline the challenge, is it going to be the best pumpkin or the scariest pumpkin? Are we just going for talent? What are we going for? What's the criteria? I think it's just kind of anything. Uh, it's art, first say, of all. It's hard to reduce and judge art this way. First of all, what yes. speaks to you speaks to you. Exactly. Thank you, Mr. Jordan Mason. If there's anything we've learned at Ryerson University, it's that everything's up for interpretation. So, I mean, it, we're both going to carve our pumpkins. We are going to post these pumpkins on our social media. Uh, so check us out. And vote on which one, just which one it's you gonna think be, is better. It's going to be, a yeah, it's going to be just better. It's whichever. just you look at both and whichever one a you're like, or B. I like that one for whatever reason it speaks to you. Because once again, that's art, you s- uncultured swines. Uh, and then whoever wins is the grand champion and there's a punishment for the loser. Blind test too. We're not going to say who did which. No, yeah, so yeah, we, you won't know. So we know it's fair. Yeah. Um, and yes, my mom, my mom would definitely vote for Jordan. <laughs> She's a nice woman. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> um, yeah, we have consequences. The best part of any challenge uh, with Halloween coming up. This is going to our podcast dropping oh, on Tuesdays. Boy, Chris Sale. Sorry. Podcast dropping on Tuesdays. We're going to do this Monday or Tuesday. Halloween is on a Wednesday, and the loser of this challenge has to go out for Halloween as whatever the winner decides. Oh, I can't wait to make you a slutty nurse. Okay, so you're going Okay. All right. I, all right. Slutty nurse. Uh, Maybe. Let's, let's I might not. I don't know yet. Let's we got a few minutes left here. Let's spitball some ideas. You're you're throwing out slutty nurse. You said baby earlier. I think there's something classic about an adult male in a diaper and a bonnet. Maybe that's just me. Could you make us baby slutty? I think or you is could. that a can of worms you don't want to open. I think there's some Spirit Live guidelines we're really dancing with uh, closely if we talk about slutty babies, but let's get into it. Um, so I actually thought about this, because what if we were to go to a club or a bar and they were to say, no shirt, no babies, no service? And mm. so this is why to be a slutty baby, we're going to get you a mesh shirt. So like you have a okay. bonnet. Oh, I see. You're wearing a diaper. May or may not be full. That's up to you. Uh, I guess it just depends how much you want to party. I think I might just play that by play it by beer. And then uh, just, you know, a classy mesh shirt to keep it all together. There is not many articles of clothing classier than a mesh shirt. I know. Tuxedo t-shirt is slightly ahead, but mesh t-shirt is definitely up there. I'm trying to think of something else that you would look great in. Well, like, we don't want to... Oh, you're going to be a slutty 11 from Stranger Things. Ooh. And then bonus because, bam, we just have waffles. I like that. Uh, I could get behind that. I was thinking, like, ah, slutty Hitler. <laughs> because, you know, just to bring him down to that level. Maybe like he, what, you're trying to, like, humanize him or something? No. I don't know. This is definitely a can of worms we don't want to open. Um, yeah, okay, so we got baby. We got slutty nurse. Because, um, I mean, I, I ideally... Perfect world, if I had the money, I would just go to a Halloween store and just, like, whatever is the most outrageous I would buy and put make you put on immediately. A, oh, a good old uh, hot dog costume. Something I was thinking, like, what could Try be something, imitate. like, ridiculous. That's like Jonah that. Hill, right? And accepted? Yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, I mean, that's always just kind of like, funny. Like, what if you just did, like, the classic, like, scream costume that, like, 10 kids out of the 24 wore in grade three? Yeah. And you just, like, full black, like, cloak and then the scream mask, and you just have to do that at the bar, and you can't take it off. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's that's low hanging fruit to me. It's low hanging, but point it's like kind of like it's kind of like because people would look at you and be like, "Is that a fucking scream costume? Like, is this two? Th- what year people is it?" People are still doing that. <laughs> well, yeah, like those come in adult size. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I just am starting to get some dark ideas now. Uh, but my point was earlier just that I don't know that money will be on my side to really like invest you into something ridiculous. So it might have to honestly be something I can scrape together at home, which I don't know what that'll be. But I don't worry. I will make you look fucking ridiculous well, I, when I win. Well, I'm just going to say I'm would, qu- quite the master carver. So Would you all still b- 
believe that I've never carved a pumpkin on my own before. No, I haven't either. Why? Why? Oh, okay, why nice. the fuck would we? We're not like. Fuck. You did it when you well, when we would do it at my home when I was a child. I generally would just help scrape out the insides, that's what and I that mean. was like, like, ah, that's my job. I'm done. I'll screw everything else up. I wasn't allowed to hold a fucking knife. Nope, not at all. Uh, I was well, just running around with scissors. Yeah, no, there's a, and I am not crafty at all. So mine, neither I'm, am I. I'm in a very. Oh, I'm this is going to be hilarious. Talking a big game, but I'm not sure that we can uh, that I'll be able to back it up. No, we'll talk. If, if, Zacher, one of our roommates, did a pumpkin carving challenge with his uh, his girlfriend, and they turned out well. And he said that it's pretty easy to do. So I mean, we just got to find a stencil. I was just about to say sh- no stencils. Oh really? I'm gonna go out. I'm gonna. Dude, they're gonna look so bad. No stencils. That's just you can draw your own outline. No and stencils. then okay, all right. All right, uh, we're wrapping up. We're in the last minute of the show because we're timed now. Incredible, isn't it? And do you have any final thoughts, Tom? I also, sorry, one last thing yeah. for the ch- for the contest. If you have ideas for what the fuck the loser should dress up as, send them to the Instagram at Not a Sports Show. We have other things to think about. We Please do. Please help us out. Uh, and I'm gonna directly call it out to Tyler Mason. If you have any good ideas of how I can humiliate your brother, I know that you are you have a mind that would work well for a scenario like this. So please uh, send any anyone uh, if they want to send that along to our our DMs. Um, 